Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Agile Tester Extension Certification. Today we are looking into the continuation on Chapter 3 which is 3.4 Tools in Agile Projects and the next topic what we are looking at is Communication and Information Sharing Tool. In the previous tutorial we already understood about Task Management and Tracking Tools. In this tutorial we will be talking about what else can be supported in the Agile environment. So let's continue further to understand more about the same. When we talk about communication and information sharing tools, generally an agile methodology makes use of a lot of verbal communication or documentation, emails and many other things. But of course that has to be lightweight and quick when it comes to agile environment. So when generally we talk about these dimensions of communication and information sharing, the common thing which comes up into the discussion is wikis, instant messaging and desktop sharing. So when you talk about wikis, they are generally about the source of information where your repository has all the necessary details about your process or maybe your product which you will be utilizing as a source of knowledge and information. Instant messaging will be for the team to communicate within each other and understand that what if you want a quick response for anything you can make use of that as well because we are so busy working with the sprint which are quick cycles then instant messaging would be a really good option for you and desktop sharing that if you have any kind of issues happening maybe during the QA product testing and other things then you can quickly share the screen with the developer and they can understand what kind of scenario are you facing challenge with so let's understand a little more in detail that what the wikis instant messaging and desktop options are wikis generally allow the team to build up the knowledge source or your documentation the uh, manual of the product the process or any kind of supporting material can be stored there so even if you talk about the common use of jira in agile environment we do have a confluence page where you can include a lot of information you can also upload a lot of uh, details about your uh, process and documentation which can be referred now and then from there so wiki becomes like a source for you which can include many of these things for example product feature diagrams feature discussions prototype diagrams like basically designs or requirements and user stories and many other things and to support that maybe your previous project execution details can also be uploaded in the same Tools, techniques for developing the testing found to be useful by the other members of the team could also be part of that wiki. Matrix, charts, dashboards on product stages, all these kind be also included in your wikis which could be a quick monitor to measure the progress on the project. Conversation between the team members similar to instant messaging and email but in a way that is shared with everyone else on the team which means that maybe you would have created a card or maybe you would have created an issue on the dashboard and people are commenting on that that means it's just like maybe your know, Facebook and LinkedIn post where you just post something and then everyone else you're in your community or connections are allowed to view that and comment on that so those things would be possible by adding watchers on the uh, dashboard so this could be the different features which can be included as a part of wikis on the other side we do have instant messaging which is like you know having a quick discussion like chatting option like you have chats everywhere when you look at the social media same way here you do have within the organization within the major agile team you may make use of instant messaging any kind of chat option which would allow the team to quickly chat within the team or outside the team as well to quickly check that what is the progress or maybe it could be anything related to the process so it can be called as instant messaging audio teleconferencing or video chats so these tools can assist you in the agile process which allows real-time direct communication between the team members especially distributed teams so maybe people are distributed on the geographical parameters then you can quickly use the chat option to talk instead of making a call which could be more expensive or you need to have a schedule for that involve distributed team in stand-up meetings could be also possible you can do a video conferencing and people can connect and even IP phones which you, most of the organization generally makes use of for teleconferencing or making a conference call to have a quick discussion or meeting about the progress or maybe negotiation on any kind of issues which you get within the process the third thing is about desktop sharing and capturing tools which provide the following benefits 
in distributed team, product demonstration, code reviews, and even pairing can occur with help of these things. That means you can share the screen and tell them that is what you're trying to do. Maybe a presentation or maybe the screen on the developer's uh, machine could be shared with the other team member on the other side of the place and maybe they can look into that that what exactly is the issue how to resolve it or capturing product demonstration at the end of each iteration could another be thing like creating videos of the issues can be captured with help of that these tools uh, basically could help team to understand and who do a uh, ease of access with the communication avoid any kind of disturbance about any kind of gaps between the communication so that instant resolution can be provided to the team member at a minimal cost. So we recommend these kind of options to be utilized within the organization and that's very well influenced within the current organization in the practices. So that's all from this tutorial team. Hope you enjoyed uh, learning something new about Agile today. If you have any kind of questions, please feel free to comment below. I'll be here to assist you. And uh, we do have some more tutorials to come up, so please uh, follow that. You will be having a few more tutorials to come from this series, and that will complete the syllabus. So, till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding about the context. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.